Hello everyone, this is Muni from Webilancers and in this video, I am going to show you how you can create a feedback form or a suggestion form for your clients in the WordPress. So, I will just add this form on my this page. Right now, there is a simple header and a simple footer on this website. So, once we will make the form, we will add this form here. So, for that we need to access our site's admin area. Just go to dashboard and go to the plugins and click on the add new. And here search for the plugin. W forms. Just to install this form. And activate it. So here we can see that there is an option to create your first form. So click on this. So now there are four options. We can create this form using a black form template or a simple contact form. We can also make a newsletter and we can also use the suggestion form. So for that we, we will create this form. Just click on that. And now you will see a form. So you can play with these settings. Suppose we can modify that just click on that and go to the format we can also change that it will be a single line and if you will make it first meter and last you will see three columns here so i will just keep it default and now in the email section you can also change different settings you can check this box so to confirm this email i'll just uncheck this and there is an option where you can add check boxes there suppose you want to add a box for the orders you can click on this plus icon and here you need to put your text and just click there so now you will see that one another check box is appearing there so in this way you can modify these and after that so now you will see there is an subject that's a line there uh, once you will click on the subject you can also make this required or uncheck this so i'll keep this default and after that you will see a message button there so your clients can write something for you so i will just drag and drop this and just keep it under the email and click on the save button So now if you will click on this submit button, now you will see the different settings. You can also change the form name to feedback form. So you can also write description for that and you can change the button text here. After that, you can go to the notifications. You can change your email if you want to add multiple emails you can also do that by splitting them using a comma or otherwise you can keep this default if you want to receive it yourself and now you need to go to the confirmations and there there is a confirmation message once a user will send the form to us you can also modify this and if you want the user to go to the other page once you will submit the form you can also do that you can click on this show page and after that you will see different type of pages there suppose you want this to again go to the home page you can also do that so i will just keep this as about us and save this now click on this embed and now we can see that 
there are two options click on the select existing page and create a new page so we will use a short code for this click on this short code and copy this code here so i will just go to the site go to the feedback page and click on the edit with elementor so click on this plus icon to add a new section just give it a single row and here you can add a module short code just drag this and drop it here and here we need to put the code and just click on this update button so now you will see that a form is appearing here subject put the feedback and we can select this and put a message hello and submit it so once we will submit this form now you will see that this form is redirected to the about us page you can also modify these settings now I will show you another method how you can add this form to your WordPress website in the page. So just go to the new, click on this page. I will put some name, your feedback. And now you will see there is a button, add form. Click on this. And here you can see there is a single form present just click on this show form name and show form description so there is no description present now but we can check this just click on this add form and now publish it now you can preview changes so now you will see that a form is added here you can also make this responsive to your website and responsive to all the devices and you can also add this as a widget on your wordpress website on the blog page or any other page so in this way you can add a feedback form on your wordpress website easily so if you like my video make sure you have pressed the like button and leave a comment to me if you have any questions or queries and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching my video.